Hi, hey, it's Sexy J. Quick and dirty time. Today's topic is weaker the answer, the better. Weaker, the better. I know that sounds counterintuitive, so drill that into your head. Weaker, the better. So you guys already know from my other videos that extreme answers are bad, and this is an elaboration on that idea, okay? So the weaker answers are better. From that, you don't even have to read any of this stuff. You can already know, probability-wise, the answer is probably going to be B or D here. Why? Because those are the weakest answers. So why are weaker answers better? Because they're easier to justify. So let's say somebody is super upset, right? He is breaking the whole house down. He's punching walls. Could you say that he is furious? Of course. But could you say he's depressed? I don't know, right? But in that case, if you said he is unhappy, that works. Why? Because that's a weaker description. It's a more vague, more general description. And that's precisely the case here. So the answer here, I'll just give you guys the answer here. The answer here is disagreeable. This just means he doesn't like it. He doesn't like the situation. And another clue here is that you guys see that A is negative, malevolent. That's very negative. And also C is negative, tragic, also negative. Those are more extreme versions of a negative emotion. So if I have more extreme versions and the less extreme version, the less extreme version is more likely. That's better. So if you have this guy is feeling okay versus he is on top of the moon. He's feeling okay is more likely. So let's actually look at the text here and also point out how do they get you with the trap answers? Because you have to remember, ACT, SAT reading, they want people to get things wrong because if everybody gets everything correct, it's a useless test. So first trap answer here. You see here, I contemplated life was a tragedy. So we have the word tragedy. So that's the trap here with the word tragic. Or we have here that, um, let's see. Uh, we have malevolent, that's a trap because, oh, let's actually talk about the question here for a second. He sometimes found his place of housing to be. So this one, this is the exact type of question people argue with me all the time. Jay, he literally says his life's a tragedy. Why is the answer not tragic? Because I'm not asking about his life. What am I asking about? Where he lives. So where do I talk about where he lives? This is over here, right here, and his windows, his house. So the actual evidence is here. The windows are all open and he sees that it's not comforting. So what did I have in the text? Not comforting. So not comforting turns into disagreeable because the text evidence wasn't that strong. So we can only use a weak answer. So that's my answer. Let's go through all the other answer choices, guys, because a lot of people on the narratives, they get the vague sense he doesn't like his house. So he just picks something that sounds bad. And they're like, oh, malevolent, that's awful, that's really bad. Malevolent is like evil, guys. Is this house going to be evil? Don't think so, okay? And um, be uncertain, that's just a very good trap answer because it's vague. And let's get C again, tragic. Why do they put it there? Because it says his life is a tragedy. So here I'm going with the idea, the weaker the answer, the better. And also let me just give you guys a hint. The SAT stories and the ACT stories, they're not going to have anything crazy, guys. So we're not going to have a house that's actually dangerous. We're not going to have actual violence in these things, okay? So something like malevolent, besides the fact that it would be supernatural for a house to be, you know, haunted and like wanting to do you harm, we're not going to get real elements of danger on the SAT or the ACT. That's just not how that goes. So today's Quick and Dirty is about weaker to better. And remember, this is not just for the narratives. This is for every single passage, except... You guys remember the exception? The historical passage is because those are extreme, okay? So just keep all of that together and leave in the comments what kind of quick and dirty videos you guys want restored or even new ones, and I'll get them back up quick, right? Because that's the whole point of these series. And study every day with Sex J, the best way. See you guys next time. More quick and dirty coming your way.